Almost everything in our lives needs to be balanced. For example, how to achieve a balance between life and work, how to maintain balance between the two parties in marriage or relationship, how to balance leisure and busy, how to maintain a balanced diet to maintain physical health, and so on. If you want to keep everything in harmony and balance, you must understand the way of yin and yang. So what is yin and yang? We will explain yin and yang in a few videos. First, let's start with how come yin and yang. Image if we lived 5,000 years ago, we saw a lot of natural phenomena, such as wind and rain, thunder and lightning, day and night, people have birth, old, sickness and death, etc. We certainly couldn't know the reasons for these natural phenomena if no one told us. But human being is different from other animals, human being has endless desires. The ancients had to find the worldview and methodology to understand and explain these natural phenomena. When humans appeared, sun is the most influential and regular object. The ancient philosophers found that when the sun came out was completely different from when the sun went down, and when the sun came out, it was different when there were clouds, and when there were no clouds. The ancient philosophers discovered that the places without clouds are sunny, bright, warm, plants growing fast, germinating, upward, moving, outward, invisible, hyperactive, etc. And places with clouds or shady places are cold, dull, slow growth of plants, and downwards. Relatively static, introverted, tangible, functionally inhibited, etc. The ancient philosophers used abstraction and analogy methods to further deduce and extend, they abstract the sunny, bright, and warm part of the phenomenon as fire, because the attributes of fire are warmth, rising, dryness, and light, shady, cold, downwards, this kind of dark phenomenon is abstracted as water, because the water is cold, descending, moist and dark. Water and fire could represent the attributes of these two types of things very well, and they are the objects most familiar to human being. The ancient philosophers also promoted them to a philosophical level, and attributed all things or phenomena that have similar characteristics as sunny and fire to the category of yang. And attributed all things or phenomena that are similar as shady and water characteristics to the category of yin. Huangdi Neijing, the Yellow Emperor's classic of medicine, says that fire and water are signs of yin and yang. So far, a complete theory of yin and yang has been formed, which refers to a pair of opposite and interrelated objects in the natural world, such as warm and cold, moving and static. Or the two opposite and interrelated attribute relationships within an object, such as up and down, inside and outside. The ancient philosophers got inspirations by observing universe from a distance and observing human body nearby. So, in addition to the sun, the yin and yang has something to do with human body. Let's see what is it. The symbol of yin and yang first appeared in the Hichu and Luoshu, 5,000 to 6,000 years ago, Tai Chi, Bagua, I Ching, Feng Shui, and Tao Te Ching are all derived from the Hishu and Luoshu. The white dots represent yang, and the black dots represent yin. It is similar to Chinese Go, there are white and black, and yin and yang are divided. Go is full of the unity of opposites and the harmony of yin and yang. Yin and yang are represented by broken and solid lines in I Ching, about 5,000 years ago. There are many meanings of these two lines. Solid lines called yang yao, broken lines are called yin yao. One of them is that yang yao represents male genitalia and yin yao represents female genitalia. Yin and yang characters first appeared in the Book of Songs about 2,500 years ago. Yang yin, beside the left ear, is fu, the original meaning of fu is earth mountain. The right side of the yang, traditional, is, the top is the sun. The horizontal line is the horizon, and the bottom is a man bending over to work in the field, and the back of this man is bright and warm under the sun. In, there are clouds cover the mountain today, so it is cloudy and gloomy. The congenital Taiji diagram is a perfect interpretation of the yin and yang. 
The word Tai Chi first appeared in I Ching, but it has no graphics. It was not until the Song Dynasty that the Taiji diagram was published. The congenital Taiji diagram originated from the observation of the sun's shadow by human beings using a sundial. This picture is an original Taiji diagram as drawn based on the length of the change of the sun's shadow within a year at the Tropic of Cancer. The radius is drawn from the center point, that is, the center of the circle. The length of the black part represents the length of the solar shadow. A total of 365 days of solar shadow length is drawn clockwise from the winter solstice around from 21 to 23 Dicmember. In ancient times, the sages determined solar terms based on this. Therefore, the embryonic form of congenital Taiji diagram was born. On this basis, the concept of yin and yang came into being. Later in the Southern Song Dynasty, the congenital Taiji diagram was changed to the yin and yang fish diagram which we are now familiar with. The white fish is represented as yang and the black fish is represented as yin. A black eye in the middle of a white fish and a white eye in a black fish means that there is yin in yang and the principle of yang in yin. In Shuo and Jiezi, yin is dark, the north of the mountain and the south of water is yin, yang is bright, the south of the mountain and the north of water is yang. Many Chinese place names or toponyms contain the word yang sunny side and a few contain yin shady side. In China, as elsewhere in the Northern Hemisphere, sunlight comes predominantly from the south, and thus the south face of a mountain or the north bank of a river will receive more direct sunlight than the opposite side, such as Hengyang, south of Heng Mountain, Luoyang is north of Luoshui River, Jiangyin is south of Yangtze River. Many philosophers and theorists apply yin and yang to various theories later, such as the core thought of I Ching is one yin and one yang is the way. The core though of Tao Te Ching is Tao begets one, one begets two, two begets three, three begets all things. All things bear yin and embrace yang, and they are energized for harmony. The core thought of Huan Di Neijing is yin and yang, the natural order of universe, the foundation of all things, mother of all changes, the roots of life and death. What do you think of yin and yang? Let us know in the comments below. If you like our video, please hit that like button or share it to your friends. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet.